everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artisan Power here, and in today's video, we're going to be unboxing, assembling, and installing a new tool out here in the workshop. As you guys know, I primarily focus in scroll saw woodworking, and this 16 inch variable speed delta scroll saw that my grandfather got me has given me years of amazing service. But it's starting to show its age, and I'm limited with the size of stuff I can make with it being 16 inches. So I finally saved up enough, and it was actually a deal on Amazon, and I actually ordered and got the Delta 4694 20-inch variable speed scroll saw. This is a tool that I have wanted for a long time now, and I'm really happy to finally upgrade. I'm not going to get rid of the old scroll saw simply for the fact that my grandfather got it for me, and it has a lot of sentimental value and a lot of memories tied in with it with him watching me really learn how to take the scroll sawing to the next level. But I'm really excited to unbox, assemble, and add this. We're going to be moving the older scroll saw somewhere else out here in the workshop until I find a good home for it to st either store it or just put it up completely. But right now what I'm going to do is move the camera a little closer to the workbench. We're going to unbox this Delta scroll saw, get it put together, and give it its first test run. And I'm going to take my X-Acto knife and cut the packing tape and remove the pieces from the box. Everything was nicely packaged in plastic and styrofoam. And before anyone asks, there was nothing wrong with my 16-inch Delta scroll saw. It was just getting older and finding replacement parts for it if something were to go wrong was getting very hard to do. So I just wanted to go on and up grade scroll saws. Taking everything out of the plastic and styrofoam here, it was nicely packaged by Delta. There is the bevel knob, the instruction manual and parts list, and a couple tools to help with the assembly. It came with two scroll saw blades and I'm going to thumb through and read part of the manual and then put the table on in the bevelin piece and the bolt goes through under the scroll saw and then the knob just screws into place and it has a positive stop on zero degree so that's cool. And I'm going to take the table out of the plastic and wipe it down from all the oil that was on it. Lightly coated to prevent rust. And it just slides into the pin. And there is two bolts that hold it in place that you put in with an Allen key. If you guys like what you're seeing, I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me over on my Instagram page at Artisan Pirate. Assembly was very simple. It was just the three bolts, the bolt for the beveling guide, and then the two bolts that held the table in place and everything was fairly straightforward. But now that everything's together, we're gonna turn it on for the first time. And here we have the fully completed Delta 4694 20 inch variable speed scroll saw. It was fairly easy to put together. It just had the two bolts for the table, then the bevelin bolt that went in with the knob and it was just a screw in knob. Really straightforward assembly. The table just slid into the pin. The table is nice and slick, and I can tell that this is a quality scroll saw, and I hope to get the same amount of use out of it that I've got out of the 16-inch Delta scroll saw. And when I say fully assembled, I mean fully assembled for me, the Artisan Pirate. I did not add two pieces of hardware to it, and that's just preference. I did not add the hold down foot, which a lot of newbies would use and there's a bowl here that loosens and this just slides in and it helps to hold down the wood for um, inexperienced scrollers just so they can get used to holding it. 
several scroll sawers remove this as soon as they get it. I did want to show it to you guys to show that it does come with one in case you are new to scrolling and you want to use the hold down foot. A lot of people consider this the scroll saw appendix and take it away. I will keep it and store it away with my scroll saw accessories. And I did not add the lower blade guard. You take this star key hex wrench under here and loosen two bolts and add it down here. And it's just basically there to protect your fingers from the blade. Again, I'm going to be the only one using this scroll saw going forward. And I just see it as something that would probably get in the way of my hands when changing a blade. And it's just my preference not to add this. But what we're going to do now is add a blade to it and turn it on for the first time. It did come with two Delta scroll saw blades, but as you guys know, I'm a huge fan of shark tooth scroll saw blades, the number five reverse tooth. And we're going to see how easy it is to add a blade and put tension on it. There you see the blade. With my old Delta scroll saw, you had to have a tool to change the bottom blade. I won't be needing that going forward. That was one of the setbacks for the old scroll saw. But what you do is make sure the teeth are going in the right direction. If you're using a reverse tooth blade, thread it through the hole and it will go in the bottom blade clamp here and you will tighten it up and then you will tighten it up here on the top blade clamp and then you will pull this lever here it's got letters on it I mean numbers on it and you will pull it to what you think would be tight I'm gonna put it on three and three seems to be good for this demonstration you hear that high pitch ping that's what you want I'm gonna put the dust blower near and I love this it's got this variable air blower the old scroll saw only had it blowing one way and it was actually blowing dust towards you so I'm really happy to have this as well I am going to plug it into the power strip and turn it on. Wow. It's variable speed and this is the lowest cutting speed. We're going to slowly turn it up. Really awesome. Runs quietly. There's very minimal vibration even when I had it turned up loud. If you did hear some vibration it was the stuff on the table vibrating and not the scroll saw. But awesome. I'm highly satisfied with that. Now what we're going to do is move the 16 inch scroll saw and move the 20 inch delta scroll saw into its new home. And I'm going to move my pencils and saw blades and unplug these 16 inch scroll saw from the foot pedal under the table and move it over and clean up a little bit and move my riser block and then move the 20 inch scroll saw into its new home and it just fit here on the table run the cord under the table and hook it into my foot switch and I'll step on it to make sure that it works and then I'm gonna put this scroll saw on an angle with my riser block was ready to try my very first cuts on it. And here we have the fully assembled Delta 20 inch variable speed scroll saw. It is amazing. It is rock solid. I love it. It's so quiet when it runs. Um, you seen me duck under the camera when I put it here and that was to hook up the foot switch which of course turns it on and off when you put your foot on or apply pressure. It will make the on-off button up here, the switch, 
obsolete and it will always be on the on position to run and I love how quiet it runs um, I highly encourage if you don't have one I highly encourage you to go on and get a foot switch once you start using one you'll wonder how you ever scrolled without one it allows you to keep both hands on the pieces throughout the entire cut and you're not holding it with one hand turning it off highly encourage a foot switch you can also see that I've put the scroll saw up on an angle like I had the old scroll saw and I get a lot of questions why I do that and it is to reduce neck strain so you're not sitting here kind of hunched over looking down with it at an angle you're at a more relaxed um, viewpoint and vantage point and it's something I prefer doing I might actually raise up the angle on this I don't know yet I want to scroll with it a while at the old angle that I had the old scroll saw at and if I need to I'll raise it up a little bit higher but since we've already got a blade installed, what we're going to do is do our very first test cuts. And this is just a piece of scrap pine wood I had. And what I want to do is do a basic cross cut with it. And I also want to see if the bevel gauge under the table is actually reading right at a perfect 90 degree angle. And the perfect way to do that is to draw out a basic puzzle piece shape or a shape similar to cut out. And you will see why in a minute. And I also drilled a pilot hole so we can try doing our very first internal cut on this scroll saw. So with that being said, let's do our very first cut. And that will just be a small cross cut. Again, I love how quiet it is. Really awesome. I did not draw a line. That is nice and smooth. Cut it extremely well. The dust blower works very great blowing it that way. The old scroll saw it had it just blowing towards your face and that was always just a nuisance and one of the downsides of the older model scroll saws. And now we're going to cut out the puzzle piece. some viewers wanted me to scroll in real time to see how long it actually took. Now here's the key to why you want to draw a puzzle piece is if the piece will drop out smoothly and then come back and pass through it you know that your table and your blade is at a true 90. I do that periodically with the scroll saw and you can see it goes through very smoothly. Awesome, and that will just be waste. It can drop down here in the bucket. And now what we're going to do is see how hard it is to change the blade for internal cutting. I'm going to take the tension off of the blade, unhook it from the chuck, raise the top up. Actually, I don't even need to. With this, I'm sure with bigger pieces I might need to. Drop it back down. And this will just be something I'll have to get used to. Tighten it back and put tension back on it. Uh, got it at a three. Nice. The older scroll saw, it just had a lever where you could go back and forth like that. And it was easy for me to get in a rhythm going back and forth, back and forth. And I could just get lost out here in my world. But let's do a little internal cut. out. Again, cut nice and smooth. Take the tension off, unhook the blade, and take it off. Awesome. Really cool. I'm highly impressed and highly satisfied with this scroll saw. And let me move the camera one more time and give you my final thoughts. 
again, here is the fully assembled Delta 4694 20 inch variable speed scroll saw. I know it is very similar to the DeWalt DW788, I believe the model number is their 20 inch version of the scroll saw. I have just always been a Delta fan. I love the quality of their tools. I want the big Delta scroll saw, uh, table saw eventually. I will probably end up getting that. But I'm very happy to have this. This is a tool that I have wanted for so long. I remember when it came out in the catalogs, I was like, oh wow, I can't wait to get one of those. I will be keeping the older 16 inch scroll saw, as I said, because my grandfather purchased that for me and give it to me and really um, shadowed me, watching me as I learned scroll sawing and learning all the tips and techniques on it. So I have a lot of sentimental value and memories with that scroll saw and I will be keeping it. It is a treasure to me and you all know pirates love treasure. I'm really excited about this scroll saw and really happy to have it out here in the workshop and look forward to making some amazing videos on it. I might now try spiral blades. I might try some bevel cutting. The older scroll saw was kind of hard to lock in for bevel cuttings. I had it semi-permanently leveled at 90 degrees because I do a lot of stack cutting. But again, I'm really happy with that. If this is your first time here, please subscribe to my channel. And if you learned something here today, please hit that like button and share this video so people know about the amazing Delta 20 inch scroll saw. That's about all for this video. Remember guys, if I can make it or do it, so can you. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care, and I'll see you guys real soon.